converted in five days. China's speed was once again seen at the temporary hospital in Suifenhe, which is now ready to be handed over to the local government. 600 beds are on standby and more clinical equipment is on the way. The newly renovated hospital will be used to treat asymptomatic patients only if the city runs out of facilities to cope with future imported cases. Local residents are all hoping the day this hospital being put into service will never come. The central air conditioning, drainage system and sanitation facilities have all been upgraded to meet the relevant criteria. Several sterilization areas were set up as well to ensure the safety of medical personnel. Following the shutdown of the border crossing earlier this week, the city of 70,000 residents is carrying out home quarantines. Only one person per household is allowed to shop for necessities every three days. Social workers are on duty outside each residential building. The locals appreciate the anti-epidemic efforts we've put in, and they've supported the compulsory procedures like temperature measuring and ID registration when returning or leaving their homes. At one supermarket in the city's downtown, prices on food and vegetables remain stable, and nothing seems to be different under the lockdown. We didn't see any panic buying. For us, the supply of food and other groceries wasn't affected. We have plenty of stock available. Home delivery service was provided throughout the day. With the land border for people crossing still closed and with more medical assistance having arrived, experts say a sudden surge for future imported COVID-19 cases is unlikely. But the people here are not letting their guard down. Guanyang, CGTN, Suifenhe.